Hi everyone, it's great to be here with you. My name is Gideon Biblowitz, Senior Director in the Microsoft 365 Business Group. Hi everyone, I'm Archana Devi Sundarajan, Partner Group Product Manager for Enterprise Endpoint Management. We are thrilled to have you here to talk about the cross-platform cloud-based capabilities of Microsoft Intune. I'll start with a quick overview of some of the key changes and challenges in the marketplace, and then we'll jump right into ways that Intune helps your organization manage and secure the variety of endpoints employees use during their day. We want to equip you with information you can take back and apply when keeping all your apps and endpoints secure, lowering your security and management costs, and ensuring your employees remain productive wherever they are on any device. We'll then spend time showing you demos of new Intune capabilities across platforms and wrap up. As much of the world has settled into a hybrid work model, it's clear that we are living through a pivotal time in the trajectory of the way we work. Many of you live that every single day as you manage teams and projects that span geographies and time zones. Similarly, Archna and I are coming to you from different parts of the country, truly embracing the new world of hybrid work. As part of this new reality, we have seen several trends influence not just how we work, but what technology we need to enable that work. Employees need more specific devices, apps, and services to support their more diverse needs. In fact, most organizations agree on the importance of providing the latest technologies to their employees, giving workers the devices that they need to enable the best user experience possible, all while giving IT the capability to keep those devices compliant and secure, especially for a hybrid workforce. However, when we talk to you, our customers, one of the biggest challenges you tell us about is the need for multiple tools to support different enterprise scenarios and use cases. According to a recent IDC report, 34% of IT administrators indicated that the top two challenges IT face in enabling hybrid work are the ability to provide effective IT support to remote users and securing corporate resources everywhere. This challenge is exemplified through the diversity of apps and endpoints that enterprise workforces leverage these days. Whether it's an on-prem resources and devices or cloud-native devices, specialty devices such as HoloLens, Realware, or Zebra, or simply the standard desktop, laptop, or mobile phone as productivity devices, the diversity of specialized tools IT uses to manage this vast, complex fleet can each only provide IT with limited visibility over its narrow endpoint estate. The lack of a comprehensive solution that can manage apps and devices securely across all platforms has several disadvantages. First, the administrative experience and sophistication can be dramatically different between management tools. Second, there is no overarching view or control of the security posture of your device fleet. And thirdly, employees suffer when onboarding and security experiences are unique for each platform. So the question is, how can IT address all of this? We believe any recognition from independent external analysts is an important milestone in building the best product we can. Microsoft has been recognized again by Gartner as a leader in the 2022 Magic Quadrant for unified endpoint management tools. And Microsoft is recognized as a leader in the unified endpoint management software 2022 Vendor Assessment, IDC Marketscape Report, including ruggedized Internet of Things device deployments and small and mid-sized businesses. We know that your organization isn't just about iPhones, Android phones, and Windows. Your endpoint management and security needs are far broader, reaching into Mac OS, Linux, Android open source, shared frontline worker devices, dedicated kiosks, and even virtual endpoints. Over the course of the past year, We've had lots of detailed conversations with you about how we can best meet your needs. Archna, your team has been busily investing in our cross-platform story, and I'll hand it over to you to show us what the team has been up to since our last Ignite. Thanks, Gideon. Microsoft Intune continues to focus on simplifying and automating management, protecting your hybrid workforce, and delivering richer employee experience across all the platforms your organization supports. We have plans to deliver an advanced management suite. And in case you missed it, here's a quick recap. What's very exciting about our advanced management suite is that we've taken a cross-platform approach. We'll have an endpoint privilege management solution, which will first launch for Windows 
and follow on with support for macOS. The Microsoft Tunnel for Mobile App Management will support both iOS and Android. We'll have support for multiple corporate accounts on a single device for a multi-account MAM, starting with iOS and Android will follow. And the suite will build on advanced endpoint analytics capabilities, all geared to help you do more with less. We hope you've taken the opportunity to try out or buy our initial remote help for Windows capability, which we made available earlier this year. With a mobile workforce and frontline workers that utilize Android-based devices, your support teams will soon be able to reach out to these Android users remotely and to remotely view and assist workers to resolve issues on these devices. To continue supporting the diversity in devices and use cases for your remote workforce, the Advanced Endpoint Management Suite offers new capabilities for secure resource access for unmanaged iOS and Android bring your own devices. With updates to Microsoft Tunnel, users won't need to enroll personal devices to use applications that take advantage of Microsoft Tunnel for mobile app management or MAM. This is one of my favorite features. Of course, all of your corporate enrolled uh, iOS and Android devices can still leverage Microsoft Tunnel as well. We recognize that MAM is extremely important to enabling worker productivity across both enrolled and personal devices. And through multi-account MAM, we're extending productivity options for workers that require two work accounts. Imagine a consultant who has a work account for their firm as well as a work account for their client. Both accounts will now be supported on a single device within a managed app. This gives you flexibility and data protection across both organizations, regardless of the account used. With a diverse fleet of endpoints in your organization, it can be challenging to manage them holistically. Each platform has unique characteristics and features. Some management tools only offer single platform management capabilities. Others focus on mobile management without accounting for your Windows or Mac OS users or maybe you're using a solution just focused on desktop and laptop management. With Microsoft Intune, you not only have a centralized view of all platforms in one admin experience, you have the ability to manage and configure each platform for their diverse capabilities and deploy policies to users that help enable secure access to your corporate resources, regardless of the device being used. Let's drill in a bit and explore more about how Intune manages your diverse device platforms with ease and consistency. To begin, fully managed devices need to be enrolled in the service. Enrollment can be handled in an automated fashion with bulk enrollments or users can interactively enroll devices. Bulk enrollments are simplified using a single device enrollment manager account. This enables easy pre-provisioning and enrollment of the device before handing off to the users. Windows uses provisioning packages or autopilot. Apple has ADE through Apple Business Manager. Android supports device enrollment manager accounts and zero touch enrollment. Each method takes advantage of requirements for each corresponding operating system. And users can enroll easily themselves with the Intune app. With our devices enrolled, it's time to get your users productive. And we do that through app deployment and configurations. Let's start with apps. Here are a bunch of apps that I already have configured in my tenant. But if I wanted to roll out a new app, then I have a long list of all the different app types available. A few of them are specifically notable. First off, all the stores are supported, so you can select apps from the various stores. But to make it easy for you to deploy apps, your iOS and Android devices, let's select built-in apps. Here's a list of common iOS and Android apps available for you to select from. Line of business apps are also quite flexible across several platforms. 
Here you can see we have the ability to deploy custom apps for Android, iOS, Mac OS, and Windows. Although not new, Intune can deploy PKG files along with DMG files, making your app deployments more flexible. We also simplified LOB app deployment for Mac OS by no longer requiring use of the app wrapping tool. Lastly, for apps, note that we can enable or disable Android enterprise system apps. With apps deployed, let's talk about policies. I have two primary policies, compliance policies and configuration policies. Across all your devices, you want to ensure that they are compliant with OS-based minimum requirements as well as security requirements. To see this in action, we'll go to Devices, then Compliance Policies. I'm going to just create a new policy and you see we have a broad set of platforms available for all device compliance policies. Since this may be the first time you've seen the Android open source project, let me pause there for a second. While many of your employees will have Android phones, devices that run AOSP are often tailored to specific job tasks. One widely used AOSP device is Realware. These special ruggedized hands-free devices help your frontline workers get real-time access to information and expertise that helps them while on the go. Setting compliance rules for them is straightforward with a configuration profile template that you can deploy to your AOSP devices. These are typical of base settings for all platforms. Before we leave Android open source project, We've heard from many of you about the struggles supporting people in your organizations in China using Android devices. Fortunately, with the additional support in Intune, you can now configure the devices running AOSP for your employees in China. With AOSP behind us, let's talk about iOS compliance policy and some of the consistent features you'll see across platforms. We'll create a simple iOS compliance policy Notice we have the same base OS versions for compliance, but also we can set the risk level for Defender for Endpoint. We can use Risk Signal from Defender to help mark devices as non-compliant when their risk goes above a threshold. This works for iOS, Android, and Windows. While we're talking about compliance, it's important to have an all-up view of your compliance state, regardless of platform. Intune makes it easy with several views of your device compliance. Let's take a look in reports and then device compliance. The summary shows we have two devices out of compliance. It's best to know if we need to take action on these devices. And the way we can do that is by selecting the non-compliant devices and settings report. Notice we have two reasons for non-compliance. One is inactive and neither has a compliance policy assigned. That's great. I now can go update my compliance policies and ensure these devices are included. I know my data set is small here, but you can see your 60-day trend for compliance as well. I have one device that seems to have aged out of the system back a few days ago. With our devices enabled for compliance policies, we can shift to configuration policies. While the settings catalog isn't brand new, let's take a look at how the catalog simplifies your configuration. We'll create a new profile. And let's start with Mac OS. We'll pick the settings catalog instead of the predefined templates. Click Create and give it a name. Click Add Settings, and we have a long list of categories. Now, actually, I'm excited to show this list for two reasons. First, this new format for selecting and configuring devices is searchable and organized to help you find what you need quickly. Most importantly, you'll notice that all the payloads you need are now listed here in a single location. We know it was a gap previously, and we are happy to now have all the macOS setting payloads you need.
Let me go back to pick Windows as our configuration profile platform. I'll give it a name and choose Windows and Settings Catalog. Now let's add some settings. As you can see, the list is quite long for all the settings you can configure for Windows. We can make that list a bit more refined with a filter. Let's add a filter for OS Edition and pick HoloLens. I now have a view of all the settings that apply just to HoloLens. So much easier, isn't it? So now you can see it's easy to configure all your devices. And of course, we have touched on compliance for devices as well. Compliance is an important element of device security. Keeping your devices up to date with the latest version of the operating system is just as important for security. For your Mac devices, I'm excited to share the preview of software updates for Mac OS. Let's see how it works. We'll go to Devices, Mac OS, Update Policies for Mac OS. I'll create a new profile and give it a name. Here, you can see we have four categories of OS updates. We can separately configure critical, firmware, configuration file, built-in app, and OS updates. You need to also balance the immediacy and impact of these deployments to employees. Intune makes this easy with several deployment options. Each update type supports these five installation actions. Download and install, download only, Install immediately, notify only, and install later. Let's just start with the critical updates, and we can then install as soon as possible. And we have the ability to schedule how the updates are installed. In our case, we want to ensure the updates are installed as soon as the devices check in, which is the default choice. But if you notice, we can also schedule the update to take place during a specific period of time or outside a specific time window. We have made it consistent with how you can manage updates for your iOS and iPad OS devices. We put together some detailed information if you want to learn more about configuring Mac OS software updates. Take a look at this link, aka.ms slash Mac OS software updates. And just in case you still have more questions about managing your Apple devices, you can see the Apple session at the link that you see on the screen. Although your users have a wide variety of devices that they use to complete their work and all are well supported with Intune, sometimes your use cases require the use of Windows. This is where Azure Virtual Desktop can lend a hand. Sometimes your LOB applications are not yet converted to a cloud app or maybe they've not yet been ported to work on iOS. For these types of use cases, you can use Azure Virtual Desktop to provision a Windows desktop for users that seamlessly work with their device of choice. An important update, we now support Azure Virtual Desktop multi-session configuration. This option allows you to better optimize your hardware for multiple Windows 11 sessions from a single host system. Let's go back to our familiar settings catalog for Windows systems and add some settings. I'll choose configuration profiles, create profile, choose Windows 10 and later, and select the settings catalog. We'll give it a name and choose next. Click add settings. Remember the filter from before? We're going to leverage that capability once more and choose Windows multi-session. The settings that are now applicable to Azure Virtual Desktop are now listed. Let's configure a security setting for device lock. 
let's turn on device password and for the sake of simplicity, accept the defaults. Next, I'll just assign this profile to an Azure Virtual Desktop device pool. Configuring AVD provides the same consistent experience as configuring Windows devices. Earlier, I mentioned the upcoming Advanced Management Suite. One area we are focusing for the suite is providing tools that enable your help desk support organization to better assist with and resolve employee issues. We currently offer remote help for Windows, and I mentioned we are extending that to Android devices. But in addition, we are announcing a connection with ServiceNow's IT service management. This new connection allows your help desk agents to see a list of incidents associated with an employee. This allows the agent to have a more holistic view of issues that are impacting a user right from within the Intune troubleshooting page. To see this in action, let's start with going to the troubleshooting page on Intune. Notice that we've also made some improvements here that make it easier for agents to get a summary of issues impacting a user and show key information, such as user license assignment and whether the user account is active. Notice that I now have a ServiceNow Incidents tab. Let's select it, and now we see a list of incidents associated with the user. With information such as the incident priority, severity, urgency, and of course, the incident title, Agents have a more complete understanding of issues impacting the employee's experience all in one location. We are in the home stretch now. Linux is a bit of a special case for most organizations. It's not often that organizations use the platform universally for information workers, but more likely to be used by specialists in your organization that may develop applications for Linux or use applications that require Linux. Our current Ubuntu support means you can enroll your Linux devices along with your Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android devices. This is hugely valuable as you can take advantage of conditional access regardless of your user's platform choice. To support conditional access, you need to have Intune-based compliance policies. Let's go back to our compliance policies and create a new policy. We'll select Linux and create. We we'll give it a name. And add settings. Just like we had minimum and maximum OS versions for our other platforms, we can enable configuration settings for the same in Linux. Notice we have custom compliance settings here as well. Notice in the settings, we can select a rules file or use custom JSON. These are for bash scripts that the Intune agent runs on Linux devices. You could evaluate compliance for a TPM chip, for example. And with that, it's time to do a wrap up. Back to you, Gideon. As Archana described, we hope you're excited for the many new features we'll be making available soon. In Archna's demos, we covered some of the new features highlights and also talked about capabilities that round out device management across platforms. Needless to say, we'll continue to listen and learn from you over the next year, continuing to strengthen the foundations for Intune-based device management on the platforms your organizations requires. With Microsoft Intune, you have a single place that consolidates your configuration deployments applications, security configurations, and endpoint compliance rules with visibility to the health, security, compliance status of devices, all while providing visibility to IT and security teams. Many of you may have taken a look at Intune in the past and decided to wait a bit. I encourage you to look at the breadth and depth of coverage that Intune has available today and know we'll be deepening our focus on it as our core offering for cloud management. I'll close with three simple go-dos. We know most of you are managing Windows and many are using Configuration Manager. So first, if you haven't cloud attached to your Configuration Manager or SSEM sites yet, it's as easy as a few clicks to enable tenant attach with lots of great benefits. Second, 
Go enable endpoint analytics so you can benefit from the rapid innovations we're making in user experience and automation. Finally, prepare for advanced endpoint management by assessing your organization's needs for remote help, endpoint privilege management, and the rest of the suite ahead of it becoming available in the spring. Thank you for spending time with us today, and have a great Ignite.